What's going on guys, it's your boy j Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Bungie dropped the November update and with it we see the return of Iron Banner as well. So there's a bunch of changes that came today in the update for November 2015 and let's get into it. Let's start off with Iron Banner, Lord Saladin is back at the tower and let's see what he brought for the second Iron Banner of year 2. So Iron Banner got some changes as well. They're going to increase the drop rates, or they did increase the drop rates. So hopefully, when we start grinding into it this week, we get more legendary armor and weapons. So uh, here's what he has on sale, though. So we got two armor pieces and two weapons. For the armor pieces, we have the chest piece and the gauntlets for each of your characters or classes. And this one comes with intellect discipline, and both of them actually come with intellect discipline. So that's pretty good. Uh, for the chest piece, it looks pretty decent. I like how they have the logos on all of them now. And this one came with ammo for hand cannons and shotguns, as well as solar armor for your for your gunslingers, for hunters, and for sunbreakers. Hopefully, it's not for sunbreakers because that class has too much armor anyways, or to begin with. And then, so each of these costs 40 marks each. Uh, for the gauntlets, they look pretty solid as well I like how they have the designs they, they're trying to implement a lot of the logos onto all the armor pieces more this time around in year two uh, this one has hand cannon reloader which I actually preferred it to be post rifle but still it's not bad still pretty decent it also has grenade throw distance which is good as well uh, so those are the two armor pieces for your classes and then for the weapons, we have the Fanala's Peril, which is the hand cannon. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this one has Third Eye, which gives you radar when aiming down sights. And the other perk is Relentless Tracker. Kills with this weapon grant enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time. So I believe this is similar to Keen Scout on the Night Stalker subclass. So pretty much gives you this when you get a kill which is not bad. Um, I'm guessing that you can get better perks than these or better combinations from drops by just playing Iron Banner. Hopefully I can get one, a better one than this, and I'll show you guys if I get something good. Also down the middle it has extended range with hand loaded. It has small bore and feather mag. So it's, it's okay, it seems okay, but I think there's a better combination of perks that you could get. Maybe range finder, that would be helpful as well. Because uh, hand cannon's range did get nerfed a little bit in the patch 2.0. So that might help a little bit if that's one of the possible perks. For the other weapon, we have the Bretomart Stand, the machine gun. Uh, the base stats on, on it look really solid. It has the high impact, lower fire rate, and it also has pretty decent stability as well. Uh, the perks on this one are spray and play and crowd control. And also has a uh, fitted stock down the middle. We have hand laid stock for more stability and a reinforced barrel for more range. So the perks on this one are decent. Maybe you can get, a, I mean, it's pretty solid at least because it has fitted stock down the middle. It also has brace or hand laid stock for stability. You can even change your uh, scope on it to give you more stability. You do lose a little bit of impact though. So I'd rather use something like fitted stock. And it looks pretty decent. Pretty much the range is the only thing you need to worry about. But it's still really good. These are really good machine guns. I'd recommend picking it up if you don't have a good machine gun. These high impact ones are always really good. It's pretty similar to the year one uh, Jolder's Hammer. And the guns cost 90 marks each. So pretty good. Thank you. So that's what he has for this week. Also you got your bounties like usual to help you rank up and hopefully we get more rewards. We also get um, the packages as well uh, at rank 3 and rank 5 so you can get ghost shells and artifacts I believe for those. Uh, next thing I wanted, actually we're gonna go over here, next thing is that the gunsmith is now selling weapon parts. So these are some of the changes that came with uh, the November patch and so now he's selling weapon parts, 250 glimmer for 5 weapon parts so now you just have to farm Glimmer if you're running low on weapon parts. So that's pretty good for a lot of people that are in need of weapon parts. Uh, we're going to take a look at Lord Shax really quick as well. Um, he's now selling the legendary swords. So as long as you completed one of the exotic 
quest lines for your exotic swords. He will now be selling these or these legendary versions of them. And uh, you can pretty much just grab one. If you did only one exotic sword quest, you can grab them from here. Instead of having to do it on your other character. And then you can start your other exotic quest for the other elements. So that's pretty good. And so it costs 25 marks and 25 materials for whatever uh, sword it is. So for example... This one is spin metal, the other one's helium filaments, the other one is relic iron, and so out. on. Also, one thing I want to mention is that Lord Shax also toned down the uh, crucible, the main crucible quest line that unlocks all these weekly bounties. So it is a little bit easier to complete. There's a lot of changes that they did on that quest line. And if you want to take a look See at the specific out. details on that, you can take a look at the patch notes. I'll leave a link in the description for it to uh, Bungie.net if you guys want to take a look at that. So besides some of the additions that I mentioned earlier, there are also additions to some of the kiosks in terms of new items and they're also on the database as well if you want to take a look there. But one of them is a new sparrow so we got this new sparrow called the EV34 Vector Infinite and it has some cool lights on the side of it. It looks pretty sweet and uh, the way to acquire this is to complete the refer a friend quest called A Tale of Two Guardians. So I don't know what that quest is, I don't know how to acquire it or what the requirements to complete it are, but we'll find out more about it later on when they explain more about it and what it is. So we'll find out more about that and we can learn how we can acquire some of these new items. There's also some new emotes tied into that same quest line. Uh, so we got this one right here which is called the Duo Dance and it probably looks better with another person next to me while I'm previewing it right now. Looks pretty fun to do with a buddy. And it also has the high five emote as well, which is pretty sweet. You can high five at your friends now when you're doing activities. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. So, those two are the new emotes tied along to that same refer a friend quest. So, we'll find out more on how to do that. And I believe there also is one more thing it's a shader. Uh, so, that's on the other side of the tower. So, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Let me know what you guys think about all the new stuff and what you guys want for Iron Banner. Pretty exciting. I'm excited to play some more Iron Banner. Hopefully we get better drops this time around. And that's about it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.